Next, we're going to talk about rhinos because an international team of scientists has successfully implanted an embryo into a southern white rhino for the first time. They hope the technique can be used to save the northern white rhino, which is technically extinct because the only two female remaining uh, rhinos can no longer carry a pregnancy due to their age or health. Well, let's go live to Berlin where we can speak to Yang Stagetal, coordinator of the Biorescue Project, an international consortium which is trying to save the species. So, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I have to say that I hadn't heard until today about rhino IVF. So tell us, what have you done? Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, there are two last northern white rhinos in the world and they can't conceive. So actually, if we want to breed them, we had to prepare a few steps. The first step was to learn how to collect eggs from females. Then we had to learn how to make an embryo. And now it took us about five years. We learned how to implant an embryo into a surrogate mother. So this is, if I put it in short, there are four major steps how to achieve a new northern white rhino to be born. And this was the last but one step. And it allows us, because, you know, southern white rhino, there are more of them, much more of them than northern white rhinos. So southern white rhino genetic material is much more available. So every step that we do, we first always do with southern white rhino. And only then we turn to northern white rhino genetic material because it's much more rare. So now we are in a moment where we can turn into trying to implant an embryo of a pure northern white rhino into a surrogate mother of a southern white rhino. And if this works, then in a, let's say, foreseeable future, but we have to bear in mind that the pregnancy in rhino is 16 months. But let's say that in a foreseeable future, we could see a new northern white rhino baby to be born. Wow, that's that is that is amazing. Um, how do you go about doing the IVF? Well, it's a very delicate thing. What we have to do is that we collect eggs from the last females that are now in Kenya. We have to the same day overnight transport them to a laboratory in Italy. Then they are matured. Uh, they get fertilized, and if everything goes well, then after approximately ten days, they are frozen. So this is how we keep embryos. We keep them frozen. And then we have to come back to Kenya, where we have a specific setting for surrogate mothers, because the, the very important thing is to recognize when the female is in estrus. So when we have an indication that is the right time, then we have to come back with these embryos back to Kenya. And in a semi-wild conditions, and in, a, let's say, field lab that we have to build just there, you know, in, in, in the site, uh, we implant an embryo into uterus of a surrogate mother. And then after some time, we have to check whether it really implanted and whether, whether the pregnancy was established. OK, well, we wish you the best of luck. Fingers crossed that it can help save the species. Thank you very much for joining us.